Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a free fillable PDF. Fillable PDFs are super, super useful if you have a course and you want your students to fill out a PDF template or you want to actually give out a freebie PDF for lead gen. There's so many uses for fillable PDFs and yeah, in this video, I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how you can make one. With these fillable PDFs, you'll be able to allow people to enter in text, select or check mark a box or even create a drop-down menu. The best part is you can make a PDF in just a few minutes. And yeah, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we'll be using a platform called Canva. You guys have probably heard of it. And if you do want to get a free trial to Canva Pro, the link is gonna be down below. And after that, we'll be using something called Docfly. And that's the free software that's gonna actually make the PDF fillable. So yeah, if you guys go to bit.ly slash Canva platform, that's gonna be down below in the description. It's going to take you to this page where you can actually start your free pro trial. But good news is that you don't need to have Canva Pro to do this. But I'll say that if you wanna make better looking PDFs, then it will be useful at some point to have the pro subscription. So I'm here in my own Canva dashboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here to create a design. Here, you'll be able to select the size of your document. So we're gonna go with A4 and you guys can select this or you can actually search A4 right here and that's going to pop up. So we'll select that here. It's going to take me to the design page and you guys can see Canva is really amazing. You have so many different options of different elements you can put and different ways to actually create create really good looking PDFs. You can see they have a bunch of templates right here. What I recommend doing is just searching here if there's something specific that you're looking for. And yeah, for most of you guys, just use a template. They have a lot of really good looking ones. But of course with Canva, if you do want to create your own 100% custom PDF, you guys can do that as well. And I will show you guys how to do that. But for now, let's choose one of these. Let's say I want to go with this one. This is my first page. I can zoom in if I want, just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And of course here we can change all the text. So if if this is gonna be quarterly matrix. We can change this to report. We can change the font by going up here, choosing a different one if you want. You can of course change the font size if you want. All this is customizable. Everything here can be changed if you want it to be changed. You can see that for this template, we have four different sections. These are not fillable sections right now, but if we do export this template, we can actually create fillable sections for our students or whoever we're setting this PDF to. Let's say you want to create a completely custom one. So I'll go here to add page. You guys can see that since we used the previous template, it pre-chose a background color. You guys can change this if you want. We can have it just be white. But yeah, if I want to, you know, completely create a custom page, what I'll do probably is come here to text. I will add a heading by dragging this here. We can add worksheet number one, right? I mean, I'm just making this up right now because I just wanna show you guys how to do it. We can drag it so that it's centered. Canva makes this very easy. We can come here to elements. If you guys wanna put like a line here, we can do that and change the length of it. And let's say we want to create a subheading. So I'll drag that here, prompt one, right? We can change the size a little bit. I'll drag that right here. Let's say you want to change the color. So what I'll do is I'll come here, I'll select the color. Let's go with this dark blue right here. If I wanna make it bold, I can click on this. I can italicize it too if I want, but let's say we want to add some body text here. We'll say, please enter in the information for prompt one. Of course, completely random because I'm just making this up right here, but we'll change the size just so it matches it better. Drag it here. And let's say we want to create a place that they can actually type, right? It's not gonna be fillable, of course, until we actually use Docfly, but we can actually drag in a shape right here. We can change the size here. And let's say we want to change the color, which I recommend doing. Let's make it something a little bit more neutral, something like that, or we can even do that. And We'll have that here, we can drag it so it's centered. So now we have something that looks pretty good for prompt one. We can also create a different section. I can copy this by doing Apple C or Shift C. I'll do Apple V, that's going to paste that right here. I'll drag it here so it's lined up. Let's say prompt two, we can copy this as well that right here. And what we're going to do is let's say, choose from the drop down menu. Okay, let's do that. Of course, let's make this so it looks better. Here, let's create another section for the drop down menu. I'm gonna drag that here. And yeah, I could have done this earlier, but if you want to you know, select all three of these and just copy that, we can paste it here and very easily just create another one. Cool, so let's line up. Let's call this prompt three. Check what 
is applicable. So this is gonna be for the check boxes. And let's put some text in here. Yes. Okay, put that. And then let's create another one. And let's just call it no. Okay, so very, very basic. Just, I made this in like two seconds, right? But yeah, you guys can see up here, we have these pre-made templates that are, look really, really good. You guys can customize them however you want, or you can make your own custom worksheets. So let's actually render this out. I'm actually going to just export this custom one right here. I'll click share right here. We're going to go to download. We'll go to file type. Let's do PDF standard or PDF print. Let's just do PDF standard for this one. We'll select which pages we want. Let's say we just want to do page two and we'll click done and then we'll click download. So that's going to get that started and it's going to download it. After that, I'm gonna to go to Docfly. This is a really cool platform that I found recently. There's tons of other websites that can do this as well to create the actual fillable part. But this one I found is just really easy to use. So I'm gonna drag in that PDF that I just created here. And what we're gonna do is double click that. And it's going to show our PDF that we just created, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create the fillable sections. So what I'm gonna do is go to form creator. And this is where I'm gonna be able to choose from text, creating a text field, a paragraph field, a checkbox field, as well as a drop down field. You guys can see they have other ones like signature field and date field. And I'll show you guys how to do that. But let's say we want to create a one line text field. I'll click on this. You guys can see this little purple thing that's going to you know be where it goes. And I'm gonna click right here. Here I can actually drag this so that it is filling up our little you know, section and that fills it perfectly. And bam, there we have our one line text field. Let's say we don't want to be one line. I'll actually delete this and we want a paragraph field. I'll click here, put that right there and I'll drag this so that it fills our little section right here. You guys can change what font people actually fill in with as well as the font size. And what you guys can do is write something here, see how it changes. And you can also change the text color as well. But let's just delete that for here. And then what I'm gonna do here is let's say for prompt two, we want to have a drop down menu. I'll come here to drop down field. I'll click this, maybe make this a little bit bigger. And here we're going to actually add in the different options. So let's say choice number one, add. As you guys can tell, I'm not being very creative right now. Choice number three, and then choice number four. Okay, so now we have four choices. We can choose these things if we want. We can change the background color, border color, border width, but I'm just gonna leave that as is for now. And now you guys can see if they come here, they'll be able to select the different choices. I'm also gonna show you guys how to do a checkbox field. So if you wanna do that, we'll click on this. We'll put this right here for yes. Okay, export value, yes. And then let's create another one right here. Export value, we can say no. Bam. And now you have the checkbox. You have the drop down menu and you have the text prompt. Of course, we can also do signature field if we want. Right. We can go click on this, add that in right here and change the size. We can add a date field if we want. And yeah, tons of different ways you guys can do this. But that's basically how you create this fillable form. So after that, I'm going to click save right here. And after I click save, you guys will see we have this export option right here. And from here, I can click download, print. I can also export to Dropbox as well as Google Drive. So let's say we want to download it. I think you get three export credits per day. So we're just doing one right now. I'll click download file and that's going to download. So now I can basically open up this PDF and you guys can see I have our fillable form right here. We also have the drop down menu right here. So yeah, if you want to make a worksheet like this, super easy, just use Canva. They have a free version that allows you to make something just like this, as well as Docfly, also completely free. And yeah, this can be a great way to make PDFs that are more interactive. And if you have a course, if you have a freebie PDF offering, this can be a very good way to generate leads for your business while giving them some type of value. You can of course sell fillable worksheets like this too. And yeah, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm huge on digital products, digital PDFs like this. Very, very easy to make, completely free to fulfill, and you can offer a lot of value to your audience. So yeah, that's how you create a fillable PDF. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you didn't, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you to start up your business. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.